But your bold actions saved Corthos and brought the Sahuagan's fell scheme to naught. The treasure chest in the antechamber is now yours.
coming from deep in the crypt. You hear the strange and unsettling echoes that Kaya spoke of. And by the passage leading in, strange. Sarcophagi line the walls. You notice something strange about the wall to the west. You found some kind of secret door in the wall. This is a dark and dusty passage. It doesn't look like anyone's come through here in decades. chest. It's out in the open and unprotected. And that's probably what the dead cultist by the chest thought. A treasure chest glimmers in this passage. There may be something of use inside. What were those cultists up to? This bears more investigation. This heavy mace is a bludgeoning weapon. Ideal for smashing apart skeletons. Their bones are resistant to puncturing or slashing weapons. In the middle of this chamber is an evil devourer altar. By it, a Sahuagan rumbles. For generations, the human Hatens have forestalled us. Now the dead Hatens shall serve the devourer's slaves. There'll be the army to crush the Korthos resistance cries the Sahuaga. The Sahuagan's plan must have been to use these devourer altars to animate every body in this crypt. But by your hand, you can just a magical crest appears from the destroyed altar. If you take it with you, it may be useful later. You continue to hear cultists about their evil work from further inside the crypt.
There's another Sahuagin. It croaks. Brad Wolfhaten, in life you served the light. But in death, you shall serve the Devourer. <laughs> the Sahuagin gloats. will create a blight of undead upon Corthos. You know what needs to be done. Another crest drops out as you smash the altar. There might still be other altars elsewhere in this crypt. As you slay these foul cultists, take care to keep your own health up. A treasure chest glimmers in the dark passage. Though rusty, this longsword is still sharp. It's a slashing weapon, perfect for slicing through putrid zombie flesh that would resist puncturing or bludgeoning weapons. There's a Sahuagin in here, performing some kind of ritual. Come, dead son of Corthos, rise and do my- The altar glows with dark power, and the Sahuagin continues. Kill. Kill everyone in Corthos. Kill any who would help them. The Sahuagin were using this vile devourer altar to create undead. This must, when the altar collapses, a third crest appears. It glows with cold magic. You fit the last crest in place, and the magic shield dissipates. The Sahuagin inside spits out in a venomous voice. These fools who would keep Corthos shall be consumed by the Devourer! Looking down at a corpse on the altar, the Sahuagin says, And you, dead hero of hate and blood, shall be the Devourer's teeth!
bold action saved Corthos and brought the Sahuagin's fell scheme to naught. The treasure chest in the antechamber is now yours.